today's project is for Artful Days, which is a fantastic online shop that sells lots of embellishments and products for mixed media work. And as we're in the autumn here in the UK, I'm going for a sort of gothic Halloween type feel for my project. Now to begin with, I'd got a little MDF plaque and I picked this up from my local scrap store. And if you don't have some MDF or a little wooden plaque, then some sturdy cardboard, you know, a couple of layers of mount board or something put together would work just as well. And I've made a little head start because I wanted to use some modelling paste and I've used the Prima Art Basics modelling paste. And I've just applied it through this star stencil that's available in the shop. Just used a palette knife and put it through, moved this, did one half, then did the other half because obviously my plaque's a little bit longer than my stencil and I've allowed it to dry so that I can go ahead now and paint it. And to begin with, I'm going to give it a coat of white gesso. MDF's quite porous and absorbent and if I'm working on it, I do like to prime it with some gesso before going in with the paint. And we're just going to paint the front and the sides. I mean, if you want to go in and paint the back as well, once that's dry, that's entirely up to you. Sometimes I do finish the backs off. You could always collage a bit of paper onto the back to tidy it up if you wanted to. But as long as you've got the front and the sides covered, that's all that matters for this. Once your gesso has dried, if you need to, go back and give it a second coat. Um, just, just make sure you've got a nice even coverage. We're now going to think about painting the surface. And for this, I'm using um, some of the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics. Use whatever brand of paint you've got. And I want to have like an ombre effect going from yellow to red. So I'm using Dairy Light Yellow, Cadmium Orange Hue and Cadmium Red Hue. And I think they, they should blend together really nicely and give us a, a sort of bright sunset type effect, which is what I'm aiming for. So I'm going to start with the Dairy Light Yellow at the top and making sure that we cover the edges as well. Don't forget the edges. I mean, we might go, go in with a bit of gilding wax or some ink around the edges when we're finished. I'm not sure yet, but it's always worth making sure you haven't forgotten to paint them as we go along. I'm just going to keep painting until I'm just just about a th just over a third of the way down and then the next color we're going in with is the cadmium orange hue and i'm going to paint the middle third of my board with this color and then finally the cadmium red hue is what we're putting on the bottom third Next I want to concentrate on some of the embellishments that I'm going to be using and I'm taking this pair of beautiful resin wings, these are hand cast resin, fantastic selection of resin products on the shop again, I'll make sure you check out the link below and I'm also using this round frame, this really ornate frame and to begin with I'm going to paint these with some black gesso. This just gives a really good tooth for any further paint finishes. Make sure though that you get into all the detail because these are so well detailed, these resins. You might find that once you've painted it and allow it to dry, you'll then see a few bits that you might have missed. So go back in again and make sure that you've covered it completely because we want these to be completely black. Now, while these resins are drying and they're almost dry, I'm just gonna set them aside and I'm going to come back to my plaque that is now dry, the paint on that is dry. And I want to go around the edge with some gilding wax. And this is just the Inca Gold. 
it's the graphite color and it's a sort of metallic black very dark gray and I want to just apply this to the edges with my finger just going to gradually build up the color I want it on the side and just into that little sort of this has got a, a slightly rebated edge on it I'm just going to take it on onto there as well now that I've finished edging my plaque I want to add a bit of the gilding wax to some of the stars and the easiest way to do this is just to spray a little water into your gilding wax and then take a small brush and you can paint with them there these ones are a water-based one so this works perfectly if you've got something maybe like the pabeo ones i think you have to thin those down with turps they're a spirit based rather than a water based but i find this easier to then apply to small areas than if you were trying to do it with your fingers and you don't have to be overly perfect with it because we're going to buff this to a shine anyway but it's just a nice way of sort of just highlighting that raised detail that we've got through the stencil so just do as many of the stars that you want to do i'm concentrating with the ones in the bottom i will do a couple in the top corner but my embellishments are going sort of here so a lot of that area is going to be covered anyway and there as you can see you, it's a really nice metallic sheen just adds a bit extra interest to the background so now we're going to move back to these resin pieces now that the gesso on there is completely dry and give those a nice finish as well now to give my resin pieces an iridescent effect I'm using some mica sprays now today I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer ones. You can use Lindy's, those are available in the Artful Days shop, as are the Lindy's Magical Powders that you could mix in with some water in a spray bottle. And so I've just got these in a box. I, I use this box just to catch any overspray. I've given the sprays a shake to mix the mica up. And I'm just going to generously spray over this is a blue colour which is um, Aqua Lagoon and a purple which is called Purple Violet. So you can either leave these to dry naturally or give them a blast with the heat tool to speed it along and that's what I'm going to do. I love the iridescent effect that these colours give over the black gesso and you could leave that as it is if you wanted to but I'm going to just highlight a bit with some more of my gilding wax just to tie in with the tone that we've got on the base. So I'm just going to concentrate really on going around the edges where the spray might not have reached and just on some of the high points of the mould. And again, I'll just let that dry for a moment and buff it with a cloth and then I'll be right back. Now it's time to start assembling our finished piece. I've taken one of these scrap and yet chipboards um, that says believe in magic and I've taken the medium sized one as you can see there's three different sizes just painted it black and lightly ever so lightly brushed over a little bit of the gilding wax just to give it a sheen be careful when you do this they're very fragile you don't want to knock any little bits off and that I'm going to place at the bottom of my plaque so I'm just going to glue that in with some of the cosmic shimmer glue this is like a PVA type glue don't need a huge amount just make sure that you've got glue on any little bits that are likely to get knocked or move about and 
and then just gently press down and that will dry. Any little bits that have oozed out will dry clear, you won't see them. Now I've decided that I want my wings to be up here somewhere with the frame in the middle. And in the middle, I want one of these little bottles and um, they come in clear or amber colour with a little cork in them. And I've popped some red ink in mine. This is just a bottle of red ink that I've got so that it looks like blood. And I thought that would look really nice, tone in well with the colours that we've used. Now, obviously, because I have put ink in there, I've put some glue around the cork before I pop the cork in there because I want this to be to seal. I don't want the ink to leak out at all. Now, at the moment, the glue still looks a little white, but that'll dry clear and we won't notice it. In actual fact, I think I might wrap a little twine around the top of there as well, just to add some more decoration. But this is just some red ink. You could put a bit of red paint in there if you've got no ink. But I kind of like the fact that this will stay liquid, whereas the paint, I think, would dry on the inside. So this is just some black hemp cord. And I'm just going to wrap that round a, a couple of times and knot it just for a bit of extra decoration. Now to stick the resin pieces in place you could use a heavy gel medium if you wanted to a good strong all-purpose glue. I'm going to be using a um, hot glue gun just for speed be for the demonstration here. I do think that a gel medium gives a better a stronger finish to be honest but for the purposes today this will be absolutely fine. So applying a generous amount to the back of the wing. I'm just going to press that in place. And for our little bottle that's now wrapped with some twine, just going to apply some glue to the back of that. and press that in place inside the frame there. One last thing that I do want to do is attach a hanger. And this is just a piece, if I just move that out of the way, this is just a piece of florist's wire. And I've used a pair of pliers just to curl the ends up on each side, just to create something that I can press into some glue. And I'm just going to carefully flip this over. Might have been an idea to attach this before I put the, the front decoration on. But I want to put two blobs of glue on the back here. And just press that hanger in place. And just embed that wire into the glue. And that will give us a nice strong hold for that wire and again we'll just give that a little moment to set and take away any more stringy bits because the worst thing with a glue gun is that I seem to get all these streamers of glue but once they've dried once it's cooled down they are easy to get rid of but basically that's nicely attached on the back and just gives us something to hang our finished piece. So I hope you enjoyed our little gothic Halloween project for the day. Um, don't forget to check out the links below if you want to go and take a look at these products and make one yourself. I really love this iridescent effect that we've got on the, the raven wings and the vial of blood in the middle. Um, perfect gothic Halloween decoration. This is going to look great hanging in my craft room. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then, you know, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I shall be doing regular videos for Artful Days as well as my own um, projects on this channel. So if you've enjoyed this and want to see more, then please, you know, if you subscribe and click the notifications, you're not going to miss out on any future projects. But for now, that's all. And um, thanks for watching. So bye.